Hey there, and welcome to another episode of A Hormonal Woman's Guide to Hallmark, the internet's only pregnancy-induced Hallmark movie critiquing show. Uh, I am 37 weeks pregnant, have not popped yet, so we're going to keep this party going. I am very uncomfortable. I, uh, my feet are swollen. I did get to the dispensary to buy all my after baby goodies, so I'm very excited about all of that. Uh, so we got about three weeks to my due date. My doctor thinks I'll go past my due date, which I am not happy about, but whatever. This baby needs to come out now. Um, today we're gonna be on Amazon Prime watching a movie. The movie is called Christmas Cupcakes. Um, and the description. When their family bakery may have to close its doors for right before Christmas, rival sisters Kim and Gina must team up to win a national baking competition, save the family business, and perhaps even discover a bigger prize than they hoped. So that's what we're going to be watching. It sounds ridiculous. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. These child actors are obviously wearing wigs. Like, it is painfully obvious that they're wearing wigs. So then some woman just frantically knocks on the door of the bakery that's obviously closed. And she's like, I saw that the lights were open on. I need egg bread. And they're like, we don't have any bread. So she's obviously been to the bakery before. So she, wouldn't she know the hours that were clearly posted on the door that she was banging on? So Kim is a financial asset manager and Gina is a personal assistant to some bitch who said that I hope that your personal pro life problems don't get in the way of work again. And she's like, you mean my dad dying? And the boss is like, yeah, quit that job. He said that these are rival sisters and I'm not seeing a rivalry at all. We don't know where we're located, but um, this old woman seems to be from Eastern European and the uncle seems to be Italian. So Gina ran into this guy twice at a coffee shop and then went on a date with him. Coffee date, you know, so was just drinking coffee and whatever. But I'd be like, I don't even fucking know you, dude. There, se there seems to be a lot of characters just kind of get thrown in all at once. Like we just met the mother, Kim's ex, Kim's ex new girlfriend, and Kim's daughter all in one scene. So the finals for this baking cook-off thing that they're now going to suddenly enter is on Christmas Eve, which is the same day that they need to have the money to save the bakery. And the money is $100,000. But they are $240,000 in debt. So Nick apparently worked at this bakery that won the Bake Off bullshit thing and his boss is a dick and apparently dated Gina so the boss said some rude stuff to Gina and then Gina blames Nick for not standing up for her. This movie's not that good. So then Kim entered the grand pre-baking thing without telling Gina and then Gina got upset when they got into the competition. This movie was made in 2019. Kim and Gina cannot be more than 45. They could not be older than 45. Yet they're acting like they have no fucking idea what the internet is. So obviously Nick and his boss are also in the competition. So obviously the final is going to be Nick and his boss Andrew versus Gina and Kim. Obviously. This movie is taking up way too much time with this overdramatic baking show. It is just outrageous how long this is taking. This movie spent a good 15 minutes on day one of the baking show. 15 minutes on one day. That's how overdramatic and drawn out this part of the movie was. This ain't a baking show. This is a movie. Get it together. It's day two of the baking bullshit. Let's see how long this segment lasts. Prediction, uh, day three is going to be bread. Or egg or something being the secret ingredient and they're gonna make the famous egg bread. So day one was cupcakes, day two was chocolate, but everybody made cupcakes again. Oh, was it like a cupcake theme? So Gina makes some cupcakes and everybody hates it and she's like, me, 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 me. Girl, don't, don't get upset because people don't like your food. 
Now she's having a total meltdown in her car over the cupcake. This old Eastern European lady is all up in everyone's business all the fucking time. You're just making French toast. Stop acting like it's some special ass meal. This Eastern European lady even doesn't have a name in the film. Like the subtitles just say woman. Like she's been in like four scenes and no name. Day three's key ingredient is family. So are they going to make egg bread cupcakes? So they made egg bread cupcakes with an espresso glaze, like, because they always drink coffee with the egg bread. So Team Sanderson won the cupcake contest because Kim and Gina's cupcake didn't have frosting, it had a glaze. So then that they're approached by a lady to get their own baking TV show, Nick quit his job because he didn't want to lose Gina. They haven't known each other for very long. Maybe two weeks. You have known him for two weeks. Okay. Now, if you've watched the show long enough, you know that I love baked goods. And being pregnant, I love them even more. I love sweets, cookies, cupcakes, cinnamon rolls, brownies. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna make some brownies. Oh, this is bad. Being pregnant is not the greatest because you have like zero self-restraint when it comes to what you want to eat because you're like, I'm pregnant, I should eat what I want. It's not a good philosophy to have when you're pregnant. Unless you're walking five to eight miles a day like I was before COVID. Anyway, <clears throat> the movie, they spent a lot of time on this cupcake show. Like it was so over dramatic. Like, I don't know. It, it was a good premise for a movie, but they had like a lot of characters and there was really no need for Lee, the daughter, and there was really no need to have Nick there, except I guess some sort of sexual tension. There was no need for like a lot of characters in this movie. So I guess I'd give it like a four, but I really want to try this egg bread now. So if anybody has like a really good old family egg bread recipe, Send it my way because I definitely want some. Anyway, so that was this episode of A Hormonal Woman's Guide to Hallmark. Hopefully we'll be back next week. I will figure it out. I should be going into labor in the next three weeks or so. So if I go dark, I'm sorry. I have a precious baby to take care of. Um, but hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned. Give me some movie suggestions. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.